When the MetaWind IoT Pro arrives, it will consist of the MetaWind Compact Anemometer and the MetaWind IoT Transmitter Box. You will require two screwdrivers, one Phillips head and a smaller flathead screwdriver uh, to assemble the product and put it into use. First, take off the protective cover off the solar panel and then flip the metalling box over so that you can remove the bottom cover. You can see on the label all the relevant LoRaWAN or Sigfox details so that you can register it on the website and uh, get the transmissions going. You will need to loosen the screws which hold the cover and then pull the cover off. Here you can see inside is the PCB. On the left is the red reset switch and here is the on off switch. We will use those after we connect the anemometer cables, which are here through the cable gland into the wire terminals, which are labeled with wind direction and wind speed. The second wire terminal is there for heated meta wind sensors in case you would like to connect a heater power system to them. Uh, in most meta wind devices it will not be used since they do not have a heater. And you can see the battery is here. And the antenna is on the side over here. We will pull the wires through the cable gland and then we will use the guide here to screw the wires into the wire terminal using the flathead screwdriver. So as you can see, the VCC wire is the brown one. We'll take the VCC wire, the brown one, and stick it into the wire terminal. And then we'll proceed to tighten it. We will repeat this for all the rest of the wires. Once the wires have been screwed into the proper wire terminal, uh, just place the rest of the cable in the cable guide so that everything is nice and tidy. You can just push them through using your hand. Next, you will need to tighten the cable gland so that it's tight just tight enough to make sure that the cable doesn't move with just regular force. Do not over tighten since it may damage the cable. Once the metal wind compact has been connected to the to the transmitter box, it's time to turn on the device. To turn the device on, simply use the on off switch and put it in the on position. You can see that the LED blinks red to signal you that it is turned on. To turn the device off, just use the dip switch, put it in the off position. If you would like to reset your device so that it starts to rejoin uh, for LoRaWAN, uh, make sure you are pressing the reset button while you turn on the device. And then you will see maybe five seconds worth of blinks to tell you that it has been reset. Now you should see on your LoRaWAN user interface, uh, device is sending out joins. Once you see the device functioning on the portal and data is being sent, place the bottom cover on, back on the, on the box. Tighten all four corners and you can go install the device. Always make sure that the device is working properly and sending data before you head out to the field. This will ensure that the installation is hassle free and you will get continuous data coming in without the hassles of having to open the device in adverse weather or on a 10 meter mast. Thank you again and have a nice day.